Critics pounced on DILG Secretary Ed Año for a controversial proposal to search for COVID-19 patients. One rights group even branded it as another iteration of Tokha. Let's get the rest of the details from Greg Gregorio. He's reporting live from Mandaluyong. Greg, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Charles. As DILG Secretary Eduardo Año steered the hornet's nest when he ordered the LGUs and the police to search for COVID-19 patients house to house. The plan is to transfer patients who are self-isolating in less than ideal conditions to designated quarantine facilities. LGUs, though, like the city of San Juan, are reluctant to run the program without a written, uh, without a written directive. This is how an isolation bed for mild and asymptomatic patients should look like. This is just one of San Juan City's three facilities which house 197 beds. Mayor Francis Zamora says they're enough to cater to COVID patients who are quarantined at home in case they have to be transferred. The local chief executive is aware of Interior Secretary Año's house-to-house -house search order, but he says he can't follow it yet. I haven't uh, seen any official document also at, at this point. No? Ngunit kung sakaling kailangan gawin yan, of course, we will always be within the bounds of law. Anyo's announcement also drew the public's ire. Mag-isa lang. Tapos, eh, asymptomatic, pwede naman sa bahay kung may sariling kwarto at saka banyo. Hindi naman pwede yung ganun. Ako mas gusto ko sa bahay. Human rights group Karapatan fears that the proposed method might lead to a Tokhang-style human rights violation with PNP at the helm. But DILG spokesperson Jonathan Malaya was quick to douse the flames. He clarified that local governments will lead the program and that no arrests will be made. So yung mga COVID positive, papakinusapan lang natin yung mga yan. Kung hindi sila uh, susunod, we will have to bring them forcibly to the uh, the PNP is also on the same page as Malaya and tells the public that they will be working with local health officials on this matter. Actually, the PNP will just, will just be there to uh, ensure that uh, there is there will be order. But as for in so far as those who will uh, really uh, come to the house and then interview or probably talk to the to those patients, uh, we leave it to the health workers. Justice Secretary Minardo Guevara says Anyo's proposal wasn't brought up in the IATF meetings, nor was he informed about it. He says, however, that there's legal basis for the transfer of patients. Health Under Secretary Maria Rosario Vergere agrees that home quarantine should only be allowed under strict protocols. Local officials can in, uh, recommend no, to the family na ililipat na lang yung pasyente para hindi na lang ba makapanghawa pa dun sa ibang miyembro ng pamilya. For home quarantine to be effective, certain conditions must be met, such as a separate room and toilet for the patient and constant monitoring by local authorities. Charles at the DOH emphasizes satisfying all these protocols and home isolation setups. Because if patients are allowed to complete their quarantine in less than ideal conditions, then this could possibly contribute to the rise of COVID-19 cases in the country. Charles? Thanks for that, Greg. That was Greg Gregorio reporting live from Mandaluyong.